Hey Peter, hey Sarah, why do you guys look so good on the camera? Because it's the camera. Because we actually have our real Canon's camera today. Um, we remember the memory card and the batteries. And still no backpack, but it's because we're at Disney Springs. So we went to the doctor this morning, and unfortunately this month we are not going to be going through with the IUI. I have a cyst, and if I take the medicine, it could interfere with that. And cause problems. Cause problems. So we're taking the month off. So we're bummed. We're bummed. And what are you doing when you're bummed? Get a holiday sandwich from Earl. We haven't seen the fall Disney Spring stuff. And there's like a display over here I want to go see. Oh, nothing like a quality first place pumpkin growing cute Disney Springs photo op. How adorable. Are you getting a holiday sandwich or is it just me? So you got the holiday sandwich, right? And we got these brownies and cookies. I want to get root beer. What did you get? made of Sprite and Earl Grey lemonade Sprite. Ooh, can I try that? I think I'm gonna get that to go, but I think I want root beer while we're here. That was delicious Earl sandwich. So it I feel like it does. I <laughs> forgot that like with the parks being slow this week, because we were like right before busy season again, that Disney Springs would be practically vacant. Vacant. And it really is. Like there's and there were nobody so many here. Seats at Earl. Usually it's like a fight. There was one family in front of us when we went to go order. Like that's how slow it was there. So this will be good. If we go to Paddlefish, we'll probably not even have to try to get a a good spot on the uh, third third deck balcony. You know what I mean. Oh. Well, listen to the song. Could be the yours, maybe Hollywood and mine. That. Yeah, it's sweet. Living my day to day. It's from never the really easy. It's from Hillary Duff. The, the original Hill. Ooh. Can someone please get in contact with Basin Corporation and let them know how sad it makes me that we can still not wash our hands in here? I haven't felt clean since and yes i understand how dramatic that just sounded but sometimes the truth is just dramatic that is a beautiful sounding harpist across the street at raglan road i think we did realize today that we can't have our own uh, Earl sandwich and sweet treat dessert because I had a cookie, she had a brownie. We're like really full. And like we went there and we're like enticed by the soups and the chips and it's like those sandwiches are so filling and so delicious. So we're just gonna relax here for a minute and enjoy the, the good old music over here. Two nights in a row in Disney World with ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba, tap dancing. Well, that was Irish tap dancing. Mm -hmm. A little like different, but still dancing. awesome. I am obsessed with tap dancing. I'm gonna take classes today. Do you guys know that I tap dance until I went to college? She can ball shuffle, butterfly wings, all the good stuff. When we purged everything, I kept the tap shoes. She's gonna teach me one day. So, I'm we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna be the next tap dancing married couple that takes 
the entertainment world by fire. We can like have a spot at Disney Springs. Yeah. And we'll vlog about it. And then you guys can come see us tap dance together. Hip hop greatest showman tap dance. Alright, so we're walking over here to get closer because she just said this is hip hop, Irish music. If you like Drake and banjo, she said you're gonna love this. It's their last number. They're getting ready to boogie. You can get the whole menu out here. What did you order? I order it in old fashioned because that's what I order. Hopefully this one's better than the old. Um, Gasparilla Grill. Gasparilla Grill doesn't have them. I mean... Oh, you went super blurry. Hopefully... Geyser Point. Hopefully it's better than Geyser Point. I got the East End Cooler with fresh lemon juice, turmeric, simple syrup, and ginger beer. Ginger. Wow, this focus is just... Moulin Rouge? Okay, so this is the thing. She bought a Moulin Rouge drink. <laughs> When we came here for dinner on our anniversary, I was like, oh, their mocktails are big. They're all wonderful. Cheers. It's actually a big old fashioned. Cheers. <laughs> Sarah, can you reenact what you just did for me, please? We're just sitting here having a good old time, just like relaxing and chit chatting. Music over there, just having a good time. And I look over and Sarah's just silent, and then she does this. I'm like, what are you doing? Well, who are you rolling a kiss to? And she's like, she like raised her eyebrows, like, do that. Like, and I look over and she was blowing a kiss the at the boat over there because she's obsessed. That, the fantastic finale, those are my two favorite things about Disney. <laughs> um, I'm not on that list. Things about Disney, whoa, and Main Street. But, we ordered a starter here. Let's get for the focus. We ordered the lobster corn dogs. Carolyn Earhart is our main. Is proprietor of the right word? If it isn't, we're still using it. Porter? I don't know. She tells us to eat it. And what, whatever an Earhart says, a Brookhart does. She enjoys this, but it also gave her a heartburn. But you love that stuff. I love Ooh. And if anybody was wondering, the old fashioned was very, very good. Okay, we got lobster corn dogs. I want to get your reaction to the two people who aren't hungry. <laughs> Should I do the, chi the chili aioli first or yeah. not? They look lightly better, which is going to be my favorite part about it. Messy? Delicious? It is really good breading. Like the best breading I think I've ever had. Whoa! The lobster is good, not great. The chicken aioli is amazing though. So overall, an 8.5. How much did it cost? 16 bucks for these five pieces. Which isn't too bad for a Disney finer establishment in Africa. Lobster. I'll give anyone in the comment section major props. If they know what those fireworks are. Here's where we are. Did you see them? I was wrong. I thought that was good fun. <laughs> That's my chicken day. If anything else, well first of all, I absolutely love the the bar lounge up here and the restaurant itself at Paddlefish. Two thumbs way up for both. But if all else, just come up to the third floor just to see this view. It's a stand up view. Ooh, look at her go. Look at her get it. She's feeling it. She's rocking it. <laughs> movie passes trying to force us to see a movie. Why do I still have the app? Ah! 
Ah. What? Did you get shot? Huge, huge Spider-Man. Ew. Like I felt it between my fingers Ugh. and I saw the spider crawl away. No, you didn't. I did just now when I looked back. Have you ever confessed your problem? My problem? Yeah. Sarah Burkhardt is a compulsive liar. I like to make up funny stories and say just kidding really quick after. So it's also known as a compulsive liar. <laughs> <laughs> the first These time. These shoes are new and loud as heck. The first couple times that Sarah did it in front of like our newer friends, like the Bugs or Katie or Eddie or Dustin, it's so funny for me because like I I now know like, but I now know by like the tone of her voice when it's a lie and they didn't so they like believe the most obscure things she, she says and she's like, just kidding i'm just kidding she's so excited we're home earlier i tweeted i needed a donut and peter brought home six of them all right we are home for the night at a reasonable time of 11 17 pm we gotta do something first you know what that is hmm Comfy. We gotta get in our comfies. I got some candy corn. Our room is literally set up to go to bed. Like Eve stuff is set, TV's set, chargers are set. But we're gonna watch another Netflix original movie. What's it about? Some girl? Something about a girl. Catfish. Sierra something is a loser. Girl. No, no, she's catfishing a boy. A guy, but as a girl that she knows. We and Sarah came to the realization, and Sarah, I think, agreed with me. We're like, a lot of these new Netflix originals are coming out that are really up Sarah, mine and Sarah's alley. And I came up with one idea, and Sarah's like, I agree, but it could also be this. All these original shows and movies are probably like around our age. So they probably grew up with the same style of things that we watched and had the same genres and like that stuff. So why they're resonating with people of our age in the late 20s, early 30s. And then Sarah was like, what is it? I said because it's more like indie, like it doesn't mm -hmm. go to like the big theaters, it's just like... Straight to Netflix. Yeah. Which and is like Netflix original, so like Peter and I would like go to film festivals and stuff like that in Chicago. Yeah, we like, used we to really go to the like International movies. Film Festival. I feel like YouTube's a new indie movie genre. Wow. I smiled just a little bit ago because Eve like tried it into the room like, time for bed. Time to hang out, yeah. Alright, so that movie was longer than we expected. <laughs> it was almost two hours, but we're going about to go to bed. But I wanted to point out, I didn't want to go by without acknowledging that it's September 11th. So it's been 17 years since that 17 tragic teen. Years. Yeah, we were in fourth grade when it happened. Um, but like us being alive then and being old enough, like we still remember it and think about it every year. I have an aunt who works in the Pentagon, so that was a scary day specifically for the family, but for everybody in the country and the world. But it always makes me think of, um, I read this book by Lee Cockrell, who used to be the president of Magic Kingdom operations called Creating Magic 10 Common Sense Leadership Strategies from a Life at Disney. And the most famous quote is my favorite quote of all time it's, It's not the magic that makes it work, it's the way we work that makes it magic. And there's a, he tells a story in this book of, that he remembers his most proud days at Disney were during a few hurricanes, but September 11th, when the park shut down in like 40 minutes flat and they suspended a bunch of fees, like telephone fees, um, even resort fees for people who were supposed to fly out, they couldn't. And you like just showed your airline ticket. Yeah. And, and the very next day, September 12th, they had characters at all the hotels on September 11th and 12th. They had red, white, and blue out at all the resorts on September 12th, so. And then at Magic Kingdom too, it was like totally decked out like you th like would have thought it was the 4th of July. Right. But we are about to go to bed. Uh, put a comment down below if you're getting pumped for HHN because I can't stop thinking about it. Not me. I'm actually, because my two friends I'm going with are awesome, we're going to the annual pass early access. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.